How you doing, everybody? I'm Shane Ritchie, and you're watching Cool as Leicester. It's me being cool. Now, what first attracted you to the role of Archie Vice? Well, I this was mentioned to me, um, Sean O'Connor, who's the director. He we first worked together uh, on EastEnders back in 2002. He was the story editor, and he was responsible for the big Cat and Alfie storyline so we had a relationship there and then when I left in 2005 seems like a lifetime ago, um, we worked on we did a reboot of Minder and I played Archie Daly right. same name there and I played Ar Arthur Daly's nephew and he produced that TV series and that was <clears throat> about 12 years ago and he said to me then he said it'd be a great play are you familiar with the entertainer <clears throat> and a lot of actors are. I mean, they, they study it as part of your, your, your study work as an actor to read the John Osborne play and, you know, break it down and, as I said, study the piece. So I was familiar with it, albeit I, I'd seen the film with Lawrence Olivier, which was set in 1956. And But I was too young then. I was, I was, I say I was only in my mid-40s, but now I'm in my mid-50s. Thanks for bringing that up. Um, I'm old enough to play this character. So when he approached me last year about doing it, I was... Because I know people that have done it, it's like Lawrence Olivier, Robert Lindsay, Kenneth Branagh, uh, Michael Gambon has done it. So these wonderful actors that have played the stand-up comic. But the advantage I think I've got um, is that I've, been a, I've done stand-up. Mm -hmm. I've played clubs, pubs, theatres, uh, holiday camps in the 80s. So I know what it's like to stand in front of an audience and die. Yeah. Um, and this particular version of The Entertainer is set in 1982, where the artists like Archie Rice literally overnight became dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Because in 1982, satire was coming to the forefront with things like Spitting Image, and he led the comedy store players, French and Saunders. Uh, Rick Malade Edmondson, Alexi Sale, Ben Elton, Channel 4, I think was about to launch. And comedy literally changed overnight. So, you know, comics like Mike Reed at the time, Bernard Nanny, uh, I suppose Jim Davidson, but they, be, they become dinosaurs literally overnight. And that homophobic, racist, sexist, misogyny became dated. Mm -hmm. And that's who Archie Rice is. And that's where our story is set in 1982. So it gives me an opportunity to go out and 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 be loathed and detested by an audience. I, I, and that's a real tough gig to play. And if people expect me to see Alfie Moon, they're in for a shot, because it's, it's very different. How would you describe the character? <sighs> Just someone who's given up on life. Like I said, he's set in 1982, he's in his mid-50s, his career's coming to an end. In the 60s, he would have been part of that whole Jimmy Tarbuck, that whole Bruce Forsyth, that, that when the Beatles were just starting, and when comedy, was, when Music Hall had died and clubs were just starting, bingo halls started to become cabaret venues, and cabaret was in its infancy. And Archie Rice would have been in his 30s and would have been at the height of that summer season, Blackpool summer seasons. And, and in 1982, it was coming to an end. And what's interesting, um, I grew up in... My dad in London used to run clubs, working men's clubs. So as a 10-year-old, I, I would get on the microphone and call bingo and do the raffle and sometimes sing with the bands. And TV at the time, you in the late 70s and early 80s, you had shows like The Comedian, Seaside Special, mm -hmm. where comedy was about the mother-in-law. It was about targets. It was about offending people, offending gender, offending race. You know, it was homophobic, it was racist, it was sexist. And this was a staple diet. Yeah. Of Which Britain. seems mad now. Yeah, I, and, and that's the strange thing. To, uh, and But there would have been no alternative comedy had it not been for the likes of Archie Rice, mm -hmm. who was doing this kind of material. Um, and so that's where it feels really, and, I, and I'm loath to use the word relevant, but it feels relevant. And the original piece like, was set in the 50s where the backdrop was the Suez uh, War, where the, our backdrop is the Falklands okay. War. 
uh, where you know we had Maggie Thatcher. Um, I think was about to start her second term in office. We had the three-day week. The culture was changing. Uh, certainly the entertainment business mm -hmm. was changing and that's where Archie Rice is at. Brilliant and obviously the show's opening at Curve. Yeah we're so excited. So what and are it's... you most looking forward to about that first night? And... Oh I don't because I get, I, I, get I, I generally do get nervous thinking about it. <laughs> um, but that's one of the reasons why I love doing live theatre. Um, because there's every opportunity, every opportunity to get it wrong. But when you get it right, it's the best feeling mm. in the world. And this is a play which, for me, as a performer and as an actor, I really am walking a tightrope because the audience have got to dislike the character. Yeah. You know, I, we're sitting down looking at material, myself and Sean, and because we have permission from the Osborne State to slightly adapt it to 1980s, so all of a sudden I'm looking at material on YouTube that some of these comics used to do back in the day. Mm -hmm. I don't really <laughs> but, and the audience needs to be offended. But also reminded, you know, this is what we were watching back in the day. Do you think people will be surprised? Because obviously you've played kind of lovable characters in the past. In, yeah. In certain roles. Um, I, yeah, I, you know, and as an actor, you want to surprise an audience. Mm. Uh, you know, I've just been playing a drag queen in yeah. the West End. Uh, and everybody was like, what? what Shame to play the drag queen, you know, and I wanted to do that, you know, because I, I miss them butterflies. I miss that feeling of standing at the side of a stage, and you hear the audience coming in in the anticipation, and that nerves and that, you know, that fight or fight, fight or flight feeling I've got. With can I pull this off? Can I take the audience on this journey mm -hmm. that Archie Rice goes on? What's interesting about this piece? Uh, it's a bit like when I played uh, Ebenezer Scrooge. Um, Christmas Carol and there's a character who you, you do load and to test at the beginning it's about redemption and at the end you understand why he is the way he is mm -hmm. and so like him or love him is almost irrelevant but at the end you come away going oh I didn't like Archie okay. Rice but I understand why he behaves the way he behaves you know and not only do we see the dynamics I have I have a relation I have several the character has several relationships he has one with the audience mm -hmm. Uh, that progresses over the two hours. And he has one that the audience gets to see that I have with my father, my second wife, uh, my son and my daughter. And all of them relationships are very different. And that all plays out on stage. And as the show goes on, you see my stand-up change. You come and see me play Archie Rice in The Entertainer, opening here at The Curve on the 27th of August. I'm gonna let you down.